Yes, what time it is. I am so excited. We are about to open up these boxes and set this couch up. And I cannot wait to show y'all what it looks like. We have held off for a little while because I was waiting on our new rug to come in, but it is here and it feels like Christmas morning. I cannot wait. I'm gonna kind of like walk y'all through how I chose this couch because I am so picky about my furniture choices. It took me a little while to decide actually, but I'm also going to leave links for y'all too because anytime I see something I love, I always want like an easy link that I can click and look at it. So let's get these set up. In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. It was the hardest thing in the world to be patient and wait to open these boxes, but I just knew that it would all come together so much better if we pulled out the couch once we had the rug laid out. And I was right because as soon as we pulled it all out, I knew that it was coming together and it made me that much more excited to just get everything set up. It's deja vu The bottom of the couch actually unzips and in it you have all of these beautiful legs and they screwed onto the bottom of the couch so easily. Been here a thousand times Set up a stage of lights Say we're done, say it's over Shouldn't be coming the two pieces of the sectional just clicked in so easily together and then these cushions were easy to set up too they even had instructions where each cushion went so that was nice and mark and i decided to just put the couch right here for now because we still have our article chair coming in but when it comes in we might also do some rearranging we're just not quite sure yet Okay, couch is all set up and I went ahead and put on the pillows that I bought from TJ Maxx just a few days ago and I love them. I've had that pillow in the middle there for a little while and I threw this blanket over the side because anytime we're snuggling up on the couch, we love to just have a blanket. I also put this basket right here. Now I did order another chair actually, and it's coming in very soon. It's gonna go right there and I will show it to you guys. I'll actually go ahead and link the chair that I ordered in the description box so y'all can look at it along with the link for this couch because I am obsessed. Like I almost just feel like crying because first of all, the feathers are gone. I mean, can I get an amen? Second of all, it is so beautiful and my style has kind of been evolving over time i would say it went from like straight farmhouse to more boho aztec modern farmhouse if that kind of makes any sense at all this rug i am 100 percent obsessed with but this couch is really what just makes this entire room. I'm so excited about it. I wanted to give y'all a more up close look at it too. I ended up choosing this sectional. It's called the Timber Corner sectional in Charm Tan is the color and it is beautiful. The feel of it is just buttery soft and my favorite thing about it is just that it has like a naturally vintage look and also that it's so incredibly comfortable, which is one of the biggest requirements for a couch for us because 
We love to just sit in here and relax, watch TV, be together as a family, and comfort is huge, especially now with us all being home basically 24 seven. So it is just perfect for our family. Also, are these legs not absolutely perfect? They are so fun. And it's like that perfect touch of modern without being too, too modern. And what I was the most excited about is that my vacuum cleaner can fully go underneath the couch, like my robot vacuum cleaner and my regular one. So there's no like buildup of all kinds of stuff under there, which is so fun. And if you guys go on the article website, they have all different kinds of styles to choose from. I obviously chose this one, but they have gray, they have tan, they have other colors that are so beautiful. I'm going to link the article website in my description box so you guys can check them out. I'll put the exact link to this couch and the exact link to the chair that's coming in because if you guys are on the hunt, this is top quality furniture. I'm not joking you, it's the nicest couch I've ever owned. I could go on and on about them, the quality of their products, their customer service, everything is just top notch. So if you guys are on the hunt for a couch, I promise you go check them out. You will not regret it. Another quick note about Article is they ship almost anywhere in the US and Canada for just a flat rate of $49. But if you spend more than $999, your shipping is free. And the two people who delivered this sectional to my house were the nicest people in the entire world. It was contact free. They just delivered it right into the door right there and they were gone and they were amazing. So I love this company so much. And now we are going to move on to something else fun too. I'm actually going to be sliding this pew over here. I'm not sure where I'm putting that table. Definitely going to keep it. I just don't know where it's gonna go. And since the kids are going to be learning virtually, we're going to set up their little desk area right here and get it all ready because school actually starts tomorrow. So nothing like some last minute prep. This pew is beyond heavy and it would have been impossible for me to move by myself had it not had those towels kind of folded up underneath it. You can barely see them, but they help so much when we're trying to slide the pew out to clean underneath it. And especially in this case when I needed to move it across the room. What you gonna do? We're doing it A question I get asked pretty frequently is what kind of floors do we have? And they are actually real engineered hardwood floors. I don't love them and I have it from the get go just because I feel like they're not very durable or hold up well with children. But I've been using a steam op on them since day one and it has been great. So I will link the steam op that I use in my description box if you guys want to check it out. But I know that some people are really nervous to use steam ops on hardwood floors, but for me, it hasn't been an issue. And now we are putting together the desk. I ordered both of these off Amazon. I just kind of went for the look that I wanted, but obviously in a good budget because y'all know I like to shop the most cost efficiently that I can. So I got two of these. I didn't end up getting four just because I thought four would be way overkill and you guys will see what I do with the boys here in just a minute, but I'll link these desks too because they work out really well. And if I find out that my girls can do their work on their own and they don't need my help a whole lot, we'll move these desks up to their bedrooms. I put together that first desk and then we had a pool birthday party to go to actually. So we took a little break did that and came back home, got the kids ready for bed and in bed since the next day was school. And then I got back to putting this together and just kind of prepping everything so that the first morning could run as smoothly as possible, even though it was still mad chaos. <laughs>
I posted a picture here on my community tab on YouTube and also on Instagram because I wanted to order a runner for my entryway. And this is what I was talking about, kind of where I'm putting the pew. I think a lot of people got confused and thought I was talking about something to replace the rug that I got in our mudroom. And I wasn't talking about that because I definitely love that rug, but I would love something for in here. And now with everything being so temporary and I mean, the pew is not going to last here forever, but something will be here and I definitely want a rug. So I loved hearing y'all's suggestions on which rug to get. I might actually put one or two more of those like poles up because I just love y'all being part of the decorating process. Obviously I'll ultimately end up picking what I love, but I loved both of the ones that I put out there. So thank you guys so much for answering and for giving your suggestions. If she can talk about it like it's magic The way that she loves my habits Since we always have 10 chairs around our kitchen table and only six people in our immediate family, I figured that would be a way that I could save money by not just buying desk chairs. So I pulled these two over there. The girls haven't complained about it so far, so I figured this is probably what we'll end up going with. And then I bought this little caddy organizer thing at Target. I believe it was around $30. And I wanted to get it put together because in my mind, I was just kind of thinking that it could be used to hold all of the pens and pencils and markers and whatnot. And if we end up going back to school or if we don't need this, I could totally use it in my office for all of my YouTube stuff. So I knew that we would use it no matter what. In almost 12 years of marriage, I cannot even tell you guys how many things Mark and I have put together. And we have basically realized that there's nothing that we can't do as long as we're working together. And we do stuff individually too, but anytime I'm stuck on something, he always fills in the gaps and vice versa. So it's kind of great just to have your partner with you, helping you along the way and helping you get things done. <laughs> I ended up finding this little paper organizer in the office section at Target and I think it was clearance down to four dollars and then this setup right here is kind of last minute because I had actually ordered a little organizer and it hadn't come in the mail yet so I just grabbed some of these one dollar organizers I actually kind of like this setup better than the new setup that I have, so I might go back to this, I don't know, but I just wanted all of the color pencils, crayons, glue, scissors, pencils, all of that to be accessible to all of my kids, so it would be a lot easier to get their work done, and then this is their little setup. I kind of put them in age order because I just feel like that was easiest for me, so this was Ava's then Kate's desk and then I put the boys at the counter and I don't know if that will last forever but for right now it's working honestly I'm using the word working very loosely because having four kids learning at home is just madness <laughs> I mentioned in my last video how I was gonna let these little couch things and chairs dry and then maybe show y'all on Instagram when they were done, but they did dry. It's been several days now. I ended up painting the tops of these tables. I think they look really good. It's the same black that's in our mudroom. And as far as the chairs and how clean the cushions got, 
they look amazing i feel like they couldn't look better and i'm really happy that i got it all done also some of you guys asking if all of this is our property it is it actually goes all the way around we have about between 1.25 acres and an acre and a half so we have a good bit of land tons of space for the kids to run around but yeah this is how it looks back here on to Ava's room she is my little hoarder child do you guys have a child like that too she just collects everything she doesn't like to really get rid of anything even the little bracelets that she makes that she messes up on she still keeps them so I like to come in here from time to time and just maybe get rid of a few things that she doesn't need to be holding on to for years and years and all of my kids actually clean their own bedrooms for the most part. Kate's bedroom is almost never messy. The only time it's messy is when she has friends or cousins come over. She makes her bed every single day. Ava's good about making her bed too, but she's just a little collector and the boys tend to go in Ava's room more too, so it gets a little messy. But yes, my kids clean their own rooms. I promise you I do not need to get preached at about making my kids do more chores or more around the house because they help so much or else my house would look way, way worse. But today I wanted to come in by myself into Ava's room and do a little bit of straightening up and get some vacuuming done. Something, something I can never be without, yeah I'm in your coming Thought I was a man of my own will It's been two years I'm only a shadow of the good on me now A breeze in my ear I do think pretty soon here I'm going to be going through all of my kids' clothing because I don't know about y'all, but my kids seem to always be in between sizes it's so crazy like Bo is four years old and he can still squeeze into his 3t stuff mostly he's in 4t but he's almost in in between size 4 and size 5 and then my girls are the same way Ava is very skinny she's 9 but she can still easily fit into size 7 things so it's kind of hard to get rid of stuff and move on from it because I feel like my kids are just always in that size but I do like that I can pass down Ava's stuff to Kate and Max's stuff down to Bo. And then we have a lot of friends and family that we pass on clothes to once we're completely done with them. But I think I'm going to be doing that soon, just going through all of their closets and their dressers and just getting rid of a bunch of stuff. I honestly haven't been upstairs to do a ton of cleaning or organizing since my cousin and her family came over and stayed and they didn't even create any of this mess but it's just kind of accumulated since they left and so I knew I needed to come up in this laundry room and get some stuff done. What's crazy is I have way more clean laundry that's just clean and not folded, not hung up, that needs to be put away than I do dirty laundry, which I know is not saying much because my kids just kind of have a lot of clothes. But I wanted to go ahead and get some laundry started so it wouldn't get too, too overwhelming. And then the main thing I needed to do was hang up and fold a ton of laundry too.
hope no matter what your school year looks like this year that we can all just learn to give each other a little grace, give ourselves grace, and realize that we are only one person. I kept having to say that to myself over the past few days of virtual learning, and I can't do it all, and that's okay. But it also does feel defeating sometimes when you want to get it all done. But I just hope you guys can just have patience with yourself and have patience with your kids. I'm preaching to myself too. And also put the judgment away. I've seen it even in some of my comments on my videos, people wondering why certain moms are doing what they're doing with their children and why they're choosing to maybe send their kids to school if the schools are open. You guys... It is not our place to judge what other moms are doing, and we don't know what's best for those children. Those moms do, so make sure you love each other, give each other a little grace, and please don't judge. At the end of the day, all we can do is what we can do, so I hope this video provided you guys with some very realistic cleaning motivation. I hope you guys love our new couch as much as we do. Don't forget that I do have a coupon for it and anything else on the article website in my description box. I love you guys so much. Thank you for sticking around to the very end of this video, and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in. So give me a sign. Uh, uh.